So today we're going to talk about infinity free web hosting. And while I'm working on this website in the background, I figured this would be a good time to walk you through what infinity free is, who it's for, and whether or not it's actually a smart choice if you're building a small business website, a blog, or really any kind of site. Since you're literally watching me build a site right now, this ties in perfectly because your hosting plays a much bigger role in your site's success than most people realize. And it's definitely one of those areas where making the wrong choice can cost you down the road. So Infinity Free is a free web hosting service, and I get why people are curious about it. Free sounds amazing, especially when you're just starting out and you don't want to spend money if you don't have to. And Infinity Free does exactly what the name suggests. They offer hosting for free, with no monthly fees and even unlimited bandwidth, which basically means they don't limit how much traffic your site can get. But, and this is a really important, but free hosting always comes with trade-offs, and those trade-offs can end up costing you more than you save. With Infinity Free, for example, you're not getting the same level of speed, reliability, or support you would from a paid hosting company. So if your site goes down, or if there's some issue you don't know how to fix, you're pretty much on your own. For a personal hobby site, maybe that's fine. But if you're building a business website, or you want to make money from your blog, that's a pretty risky situation to put yourself in. Another big issue with free hosting, and this applies to almost all free hosts, not just Infinity Free, is that your site is often hosted on the same server as tons of other free sites, which can slow your site down. And speed actually matters a lot, not just for keeping visitors happy, but also because Google pays attention to how fast your site loads and slower sites can actually rank lower in search results. That's something a lot of beginners don't realize until it's too late. That's why a lot of people who start on free hosting end up switching to a paid host pretty quickly once they realize how limiting it is. And honestly, that's why I usually recommend skipping free hosting altogether if you're even a little serious about your website. Hosting with a company like Bluehost isn't expensive at all, especially if you grab the Bluehost coupon code I put in the description. That link automatically applies a discount that saves you over 80%, so you're only paying a few bucks a month for hosting that's faster, more reliable, and actually comes with real support. Bluehost has been around for over 20 years, they're officially recommended by WordPress, and they host millions of websites, from small business sites to personal blogs to online stores. They're known for being super beginner-friendly, so even if this is your first time building a website, they walk you through the whole process, step by step. Now, I'm not saying Bluehost is the only option out there. If you're focused on speed, SiteGround is another great choice, and HostGator has some decent entry-level plans if you just want something super cheap to get started. But for most people, especially if you're building a WordPress site or a small business website, Bluehost really hits that sweet spot between affordability, ease of use, and reliability, which is why they're the go-to for so many website owners. So if you're thinking about building your own site, whether it's a blog, a business site, or anything else, definitely check out the discount link in the description before you forget. And if you want to see exactly how to build your site step by step, I'll leave a link to my full website tutorial in the comments so you can follow along. All right, thanks for hanging out while I work on this site. Hopefully this gave you a clear sense of what infinity free hosting actually is, why free hosting might not be the best move if you're serious about your website, and why paying just a little bit for better hosting can actually save you time, money, and frustration in the long run. See you in the next one.